Happy birthday to Bright Asempa, to Onyameba, uh, Akwa, Kwame, Inti, and uh, all of you celebrating your birthday. Let's check out uh, the brand new one on the Graphic News Plus app. It's available on the Google Play Store, and you can always get a fresh edit of the Daily Graphic and all the other newspapers from the Graphic Communications Group. You only need to subscribe and to enjoy. The Daily Graphic this morning, Monday, September 30, says Customs Nakob sees cocaine concealed in bag. And uh, Graphic makes it again, wins Legacy Brand, Media Organization of the Year Awards. So of course, uh, TV3's Talented Kids won TV Program of the Year. Anguish, Joy, Herald MPP Primaries. That's the uh, front page of the Daily Graphic this morning. Let's check if the app has some more that we can uh, enjoy. Okay, it does. Um, graphic Business this morning says uh, UMB, Prudential Bank, ADB, Omnibank, National Investment Bank, five special banks in inverted commerce. Uh, out of the woods, finally meet 400 million minimum capital uh, requirement nine months after the deadline. That's what we were seeing now. And um, okay, uh, let's check out the mirror. The mirror was out over the weekend and says no bastards in Ghana. An appeal court judge, Justice Dennis Ajay, has this decried the use of the word bastard to describe a child who was born out of wedlock as discriminatory and in violation of Children's Act uh, 1998. Well, stop medicine peddlers from selling in buses. Laurie Parks, Deputy Minister of Health. And, um, well, don't go after Bobby Stand. Examine your wife's uh, breasts, Dr. Yafia Dai. Don't choose Bobby Stand. Uh, I hope they are ministering to somebody this morning. Uh, yes, uh, graphic sports. Graphic sports stars, officials cry for Afcon money. And uh, Papu, I'll rebrand Ghana football. That's what he says. Coleman is world's fastest man. And Black Queens face Kenya tests on Friday. They, we're still on the Graphic News Plus app and we're just navigating. We're going through and checking out. Okay, let's check Showbiz. And uh, well, this is what Showbiz says. Motherhood won't slow me down, Becca. No flags, no swim. Politics, too risky um, for showbiz persons. Okay. And uh, there was uh, one photo I saw that uh, maybe, well, uh, no, no, no. okay. Well, that's about it on the front page. Front pages. Okay, let's check out what the other papers are saying this morning. And we begin with the Daily Guide. Daily Guide says, Allah, your doctor, plotted to capture president. NPP Big Shots win amidst drama. It comes with a photo of Professor Chrissy Yanka and Mr. Hobson Adoye. NDC can't win 2020. Uh, Rolling Stell skaters and Takradi missing girls that defend CID boss. Um, we're seeing what's on the front page of the graphic already. So, the Ghanaian Times, two killed as classroom block collapses at Ayawa. So, Professor Yanka, I mean Adam, Anyas win. And uh, Nwan Kokano leads World Heart Day Health Walk. I'll be endorsed at the 2020 polls, President predicts. That's the conversation right there. And the BNFT, President underlines importance of free trade area. Revenue creeps as public debt soars. Railway minister employs environmentally friendly technology. And the Finder newspaper this morning, the last in the batch. Easy wins for government appointees in primaries. Comes with a photo of the NSS boss, Hobson Adoye, uh, Dr. Amin Adam, and uh, Professor Quincy Yanka, who have all been successful in their uh, primaries held in the orphan constituency. Extractive sector financing is our hallmark, Republic Bank says. So, a bond to be inducted into CIMG Hall of Fame next year. Teaching five year olds about sexuality is clear LGBT agenda. Moses Form, when he is a lawyer, he is furious about it. We'll get to know my guest short. My uh, lawyer, Duji Tamaklo, he is here. He speaks on behalf of the NDC. We'll uh, wait for when the MPP rep takes his seat. But, Council, welcome. Good morning. How are Good you morning. doing? Good morning. How was the weekend? Uh, by the grace of God, uh, it's been well. I was um, deeply monitoring the MPP primaries right, as well. Right. Um, you know, we have um, sitting MPs in these constituencies. Mm -hmm. And so they are basically, and we have elected our candidates in all of these constituencies. And so we're interested in knowing the respective opponents 
that they are trying to, as it were, uh, bring up against our people, our people. And so we were very much uh, interested in knowing the outcome. And so that has always been the engagement over the weekend. So it's been well and good. Um, uh, yes, so basically that's it. Joining us from the side of the N NPP is Mr. Abu Ramadan, Chief. Good morning. You know why? Good morning, yeah. <laughs> Where have you been hiding? Ah, work, 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 work. <laughs> I see interest. No, after his and party won, he's never. Oh, we used to be our, very good our, friends. Our, our brother in power. <laughs> we, <laughs> used to, <laughs> we used to be very good friends. Unfortunately. Will, unfortunately immediately <laughs> power came. You know, the mess they left behind is so much that we don't even have time to, sp to, to, to spare. You know, to fraternize. You know, you know, you know when... President Mahama was saying, the claim was that, oh, the winner takes all is no good enough. Mm. You know the proponents of the winner takes all, they have all gone to sleep. They have <laughs> bought their voices. Now, well, winner takes well, all. Well, well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so at least well, through him. Abu, Abu welcome. Thank you. Good to see you. The, 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 the primaries in the orphan constituencies, as you saw it, what do you think? Uh, what comes to mind? Some big wins for some big people. First and foremost, I would want to say good morning to your viewers and um, want to congratulate all winners, mm. all contestants uh, in the primaries. And um, I think uh, the party has elected some credible candidates. Mm -hmm. And I think the NDC have a fight on their hands mm -hmm. in some key constituencies. And, um, um, if, 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 if from the top of my head, um, I can't constituency, for instance, um, mm. the ambassador to high commissioner to Nigeria, mm -hmm. um, and th that's going to be a very tough one for the right. NDC. Uh, you, are you sure about that? Uh, very, very sure. You know, you used to be the MP there mm. and lost when we lost power, I think, in right. 2008. And the NSS um, boss used to be M MP for Yabakubori as well. Yes. And he lost. No, and, and this time around he went on a post too as well. So that should tell the overwhelming endorsement and the the the, the, the ground support for him. And uh Boom Katamanso too as well, where Hobson Hobson Adoye too right. has won and, and that's a seat NDC have have held on to for, for a long time and I'm, I'm sure Hobson's credibility will do some damage to the candidate they've elected. <laughs> you know, you, elected you know there. um when he talked about Rashid Bar, yes. you know, in the year 2000 December, mm -hmm. I was in KJB when he won to become the MP. Okay. And the year 2000, the NDC obviously did not have the internal primaries. Mm -hmm. You know, he was an NDC member right. who smarter comes from Pampanwe. And so he became aggrieved and went independent. And so he was voted for. And so once he won in 2000, he joined the MPP mm -hmm. as an independent candidate. Mm -hmm. So in 2004, thinking that it is him mm -hmm. who is popular, or the people voted for him, but, he became the MPP I don't know, I don't parliamentary know. candidate for Akan constituency it, it in 2004. It, 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 no, hold on, I'm just telling you. Okay. And lost in 2004, mm -hmm. because now he moved from independent okay. and became the it, MPP parliamentary candidate. And the people said, look, the reason why we voted for you was that, look, we liked you, Rashid Bawa. You were an NDC member. Because the party did not have primaries, that is why we voted for you. Right. And so 2004, when he now crossed carpet to MPP, mm -hmm. they voted him out. Mm -hmm. And so if now he is coming back, I can only wish him well. We are never going to underestimate anybody as far as these primaries are concerned. We strongly believe that with the opulence we saw on Saturday, we, the saw, we, saw, same, we saw same at the, the, the same thing happened. Oh, you saw same. But, yes, but, but the difference ah, between which Lego? We, uh, but the University of Ghana. Which one? We saw same. Between uh, uh, the, the movie actor? <laughs> there was nothing. Your, your celebrity. There was MP, nothing. MPS. There was but, nothing. Oh, there was nothing. Was I, advertised. I, no, hold on. We are in opposition. It was advertised. The that, money I saw. You know, cars. You you that, remember energy, the guy who energy, energy. Okay. went to let's not lose focus. Let's not lose focus. No, no, let's make it. The principle is that MPP has shown easy. the difference. The opulence. You have a candidate who decides I'm buying vehicles to distribute to delegates in order to win them over. Out of over three hundred and something delegates or four hundred, mm. he got to he managed to garner only forty seven votes. 
That should tell the party itself rejects that sort of. But you know, but, but you know the original but, uh, hold, hold chairman. Hold on. No, no, the no, no. Let me, let me, let me, quick, let me quickly ask a question. Chairman Samba let, let actually quickly, indicated that in the specific case of Karaga, the candidate, one doctor who wanted to contest Dr. Uh, doctor Aminanta, mm. was given 200,000 Ghana cities to buy him out of the race. That's okay. Populist. So let no, me let me ask no, you. No, you're right. Chairman Samba, I'm giving a name. Energy, 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 allow me. So I was thinking, Abu, I was thinking, I was thinking that uh, the, the state security, the state security organizations. Energy, allow me okay. on my platform. Okay. It's okay. You, you, the way I've mentioned money is okay. Okay. It's okay. You, all, you also share money. That's what I'm saying. You also share money. It's not about But 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 I'm 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 interested in the state security organizations, for example, being interested in how this candidate was able to procure cars, for example, to want to treat voters or buy voters off with. When companies are struggling to get money to turn around, somebody has money enough to buy cars, where are they getting the money from? I, I, I honestly don't know, don't know that candidate's background. I wouldn't want to, well, but want I'm, to speak I'm for him. But the government, the, the security agencies should be interested. Certainly, they should. Where they, is he getting the they money should, from they, to they buy should brand new cars they, to share? They, they, no, they are home use, home use cars. Well, but so whatever it is. But no, we stand in their cars. Allow, allow, allow him, allow him to answer also, my question. We all saw the pictures. And you see, allow him to answer my question. The delegates there rejected him. That's what I'm happy about. One car, one delegate. It's not true. No, it's not true. So, so, so where are we going now? We're selling votes, we're buying votes. You see, we're monetizing. You see, as, as, as your director of elections, your director of election, what's he called? Um, Elvis, walk up, walk, the walk up man. What's he called? Elvis, a free, is it Elvis? Elvis, a free anchor said, mm. during their own primaries, he asked the critical question. He said, why is it that on election day you, you have policemen standing at the various polling stations monitoring the grounds? And it is across political parties. Right. We need to concertedly, as, as, as politicians, find a way of demonetizing our, our, our politics. Is it that easy? It is not. It is not an. It's not an easy fix. It can be an easy fix, but we need to collectively. It's not just an NDC problem. It's just not an MPP problem. I'm sure my brother Tejin would have loved to be an MP. Maybe his, his legal charges are not are not enough for him to. No. To as, for, as for as somebody and, said, the shortest way to become poor is the MP work. I had a. Is to become poor. Uh, I had I had a Kenyan <laughs> MP, you know, saying it the other day. Mm -hmm. But our MPs, I mean, overall. Uh, it's not one of the things, like my brother, for instance, would have gotten uh, uh, a very good uh, seat to even contest. But uh, he himself has done an assessment okay. and has seen that he does not want did to you, be you commission. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, let's make progress. Now, the, the new talk in town is the CSE, uh, which has generated a lot of conversation. On social media, I've seen some uh, middle class uh, persons talking about the fact that we should be teaching coding and in artificial intelligence as opposed to now trying to teach children as young as four years old how to apply uh, the use of a condom and, and all of that. Question to you, Abu, is what problem is the, the new curriculum, this one, trying to cure? Is there a problem that requires such magnitude of a solution to cure it? Um, you see, as, as much as I, I would support sex education at, at its earliest age for, for, for our children. Mm. We need to also look at the curriculum very well. Right. And, and, and look at the various areas. Mm. Where we think must be modernized, we need, to, we need to make some changes. Because sex education, it's taught, it's taught almost all over the world. Mm. And we, our culture, as, as, as we know, whilst growing up, even, even in the junior high school level, it was even difficult for you to even discuss sex with even your parents. Right. And it's affected lives of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. The fact that there, there's, there's no avenue for them to open up and even discuss their problems with even their parents in terms of the sort of, the sort of way they are, they are treated sexually whilst in school has been a problem. And I think mm -hmm. this is supposed to address that. But we need to look at it critically. I, I'm in full support of it, but we need to look at what really goes into it. This morning I was listening to you as you were outlining right. some of the, the areas. Bella was, was going through some of the areas where the topics and 
I think we need to modify it a little bit. At, at it, I don't mind even at kindergarten level if you want to start teaching them, uh, conscientizing the kids. But but we need to look at what exactly, and it should be a steady process. It can be it can be a lump sum approach just from the onset. Before the child hits ten or twelve, you, if you are targeting to to expose a child to understanding what really goes into it, so that doesn't even make even the children curious nowadays because of social media. Exactly. That's, that's the other big, big factor. Mm. Social media is there and the child doesn't need your permission to go on Facebook mm. and see posts of other people that are exhibiting uh, sexual videos and all that. Mm. So we need, to, we, we need it. It's, it's, it's a must. We need it. Mm. But we need to... The GS needs to have a steady mm. approach. I have not gone through the entire document to speak mm. into details to it, but I think it's something that is necessary that government needs uh, the GS needs to implement. Uh, and but I, should I, be steady. I was talking this morning about every school having a PTA, a parent teacher association, and how this was not bounced off them because the indication I'm picking was that it wasn't bounced off any any of these PTAs. GS recognizes these PTAs as a major stakeholder in terms of getting uh, such policies properly implemented so we can get I'm sure I'm sure it's part of the general new curriculum that has been introduced mm. by the Ghana Education Service. Right. And, and if, if probably the PTAs think they, ha they, ha they haven't been enough consultation, mm. it's still not too late. I, th I think the GES should, should go back and also speak to parents mm. about it. You see, let's, let's tend to support good policies. Mm. Let's, tend, let's not but, be But quick. the textbooks have been printed. So yeah, when, I know, if you're going back to do consultation, who is paying for better late who is than paying never. for who is paying for the, no, the, better, the books better that have late, been printed? Better late than no, never. but who is paying for the books that have been printed? It, it, Couldn't it, we have had a consultation before to to have satisfied ourselves that this is what we want to do? But everybody is on the same page. Was, would you agree with me that there's no there's no system that is prim and proper and fit from the word go the moment you implement it, it won't see modernization right. or mm -hmm. changes. It can be the best of systems. So long as you start the implementation mm -hmm. process, there certainly will be changes as it evolves. Because as time, time goes on, you realize that probably the way you've set it up is not good for, for, for a particular section. Mm -hmm. You need to change. After, maybe after a year or two, you, you see some changes to the curriculum, some modifications, some improvement, or some things taken out. Mm -hmm. so that's what I'm saying. They, they, the, 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 the policy can, the program can start, mm. but they need to go back and consult. Better later than never. What could, what could happen, and somebody told me yesterday that parents who can afford to take their children to, say, an Akosobo International School where they will be uh, learning the British system would, would take them there. But for those of us who can't afford the big man school, we're stuck. Children are stuck there. They have been, your four year old child has been taught how to slide the condom or whatever. I'm not, I'm not sure it will, be, it, will be that, it will be that brutal. Well, that, I mean, that, that, that you, you, have you seen the pictures? No, I'm sorry. I, I, I have you seen the pictures, the screenshots of the textbooks? No, I, I don't think it will it's, be that brutal. It's, it's detailed. Really from, detailed. From age four? Really detailed. Age five. Age five. It's talking about uh, knowing yourself, you know, whether you understand your sexuality, whether you want to be a man or woman. It's, it's just plenty. It's but, just but, plenty. But, Even for me, I couldn't wrap my head around it. But uh, <laughs> it's, I don't know what you think. Uh, I see you are zooming into one of the photos. Yes. And yeah. um, first of all, oh, sorry. Oh, I just, I'll, I'll get. But I think, like my brother pointed out, I want to take it out from this end. First of all, mm. do we have a fundamental problem? with the conversation in the schools around the question of sexuality. Mm. Proponents of this claim that a lot of our young daughters mm -hmm. from age five have been the victim of defilement, among other things, mm. from adult teachers. Mm -hmm quite irresponsible ones, and that oftentimes they prey on the ignorance of these kids mm -hmm. to engage in these nefarious activities Which with is them. true. And that Which is true. it had become necessary to have a conversation mm -hmm. where these kids will have an appreciation of what their sexuality really is. Mm -hmm. And so this content is developed to resolve 
that problem. Mm -hmm. That's what the proponent of this say. Mm -hmm. And that the whole thing is segmented. You have age five to a certain age. Mm -hmm. The content to be exposed to is different from another age mm. to almost 18, right. they have a different content. Absolutely. That's why I said they, they, right. they have to use a condom won't be, won't be that and that, <laughs> and that And that <laughs> there are different, different, different mm. contents right. relative to the age mm. bracket. Now, I have a difficulty overall because, you see... Which is? The difficulty is that as we speak, okay, I mean, beyond what I have just tabled, relative to what I think should be the problem of mm. sexuality. Mm. I believe that parents overall have a larger say mm. in this conversation about sexuality. And also the conversation should be situated within a certain cultural environment. So what, what do you, Abu, Abu for example says, look, a lot of parents are not doing this. No, so, no, they are I, not. no, no, I'm coming. Very shy away from the topic yes. in the Yes. You see. So, so government no. is saying, I'm stepping in to help. No. You see, government ought to do this seriously in collaboration with the various parent teacher associations. Mm. And so, where you have a content like this, and the mischief here is really, when you have a content like this sponsored by external actors. Mm. You want to find out what exactly is the motivation. The interest. What is their interest at this point to want to introduce this conversation in our curriculum? In the Europe, US, China, and others, mm -hmm. the content today, the focus today is on science and mathematics. Okay. AI and maths. Robotics. Coding among other things, because they believe that the future is artificial intelligence. Right. And so a time will come that you not even need a lawyer, possibly in court, arguing. You may not need a judge. You can give an, a, you know, a computer to do those work. Mm. Many jobs will be handled by computer. And so you need to prepare the case today for that future. And so I have a difficulty where the emphasis today mm -hmm. really is a question of sexuality. Are you saying, are you saying... No, Abu, no, 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 Abu, no. They don't teach. No, they Abu, no, they Abu, no. This, the fact that no. they are, their focus is on robotics. No, it's alone. important that this CSE has been introduced in those advanced communities. Right. <laughs> and with this, they were strongly, strongly opposed. Mm. And in fact, I have heard one senior lawyer, Moses for Amoni, right. say that, listen, this conversation now is something that is being sponsored mm. by the LGBT BT, right. group. Why is the PPA part of, PPAG part of uh, LGBT? No, I'm just coming. No, no, but that's what he says. And that's what Mr. for Amoni makes the point mm. that, that this is a very PPG. subtle introduction of that conversation into our curriculum. Is the GES silence on it's what, what motivated them and, to, and, and, to push and you this? See, Hughes, my, the, the, the reason the, the people problem, are now... The problem I have is that with all this questions. conversation, mm -hmm. I am here to hear the GES come out to say that. For instance, we engage this consultant proud to the introduction of this. Mm. The consultant is of the view that there is a general acceptance of this particular curriculum and its content. And that parents generally accept this because they have failed in executing that responsibility at home. Now, you don't hear any of those conversations. Mm. GES is not telling us the level of consultation mm. prior to the introduction of this curriculum. You understand? Mm. Once you have that, it creates a communication challenge. Mm. Because it may well be an intention, but the implementation is what will bring the Do, do you see a well intent in this? I from, cannot from see. Sit. That's the I question cannot. I was going to ask you. No, I sit. cannot. No, the, no the, I am the, saying the, that GES... The, GES, the, no, the GES, greater GES, benefit of, of this particular that's why program. When I started this, yes. I first started by saying that mm -hmm. it appears that it's segmented mm -hmm. and all those. I started by also indicating okay. how our young daughters 
girls have been preyed on, mm. possibly because of their lack of knowledge. So, so, about it's a good, their so it's a good program. No, hold on. It's a good program. No, you cannot say that I'm at this point. You, no, you cannot say that. Program. Let's because, look at how because, we can. No, because you mm. see, I do not think, and I do not want to trivial the, uh, you know, trivialize the issue okay. of abuse of young girls mm. by looking at numbers. If you abuse one young girl, it's, 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 it's worth, enough. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. So I cannot, for instance, say that, oh, because it's only one person in the whole school that has been the subject of a prey, it means that you cannot speak at it in terms of it broader. No, that's, that's, that's no you right. cannot. Mm. But the most important thing is that at this juncture, in terms of a conversation, mm. in terms of a national conversation, I do not think that this introduction is even well-timed. Mm. It's even proper at this stage. Because I still think that if you look at the relationship between parents, teachers, mm -hmm. relative to this conversation about sexuality, mm -hmm. I do not think that on a broader scale, mm -hmm. parents have abdicated their overall responsibility. Why? He was. Issues about how a girl child mm -hmm. should treat herself, to dress herself during her menstrual you know, time mm -hmm. and all of those things. That's I'm just coming. In These are conversations that Parents and teachers have handled I, so I, well. I, I, thought, now. I thought, I thought, I thought, and uh, Abu, I thought that well, every community in this country has the right of passage. Mm. So yes, there's, there's the, the puberty people, rights, puberty rights yeah. which back in the day prevented a lot of mm. young women from becoming promiscuous, mm. and even the young men because they tell you if you break your virginity before you are outdoored, there's a problem and all of that. I thought the GS was going to take. And interested in knowing our cultural and traditional positioning but, but, to, but, to be able to push that heavily. We don't see that anymore. But now we because, will modernize it because of and modernity, not have people expo expose themselves. Because of modernity now, most of those, uh, what's it called, um, um, traditions and customs have, have fizzled out. But it's because we have made them fetish. We have made them look like, like fetish. fetish. <laughs> yes. So and, and, and everything African and to us you see, is use, fetish. It's use, not. Use, you see, it's wrong. You see, for, for the young ones, my, my worries. The, the, the curiosity bit of it, the curiosity bit of it, that would end up pushing the young ones into doing things mm. that are not supposed to. I, me, why is it? I think it's, it's, it's a good program. Mm. We need to implement it and implement it well. But then the GS needs to go back and consult with the parents because it's a very critical it, area. That, that, that parent uh, it, uh, part of it. Mm. Because the child will go to school, he stopped this, he comes home and tells mommy, oh, mommy, my teacher says this. Yeah. Mommy says no. That's not it. Right. Is this the child says no? What teacher says is what? That's I'll... confusion for the child. But you see, but, 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 but I think the GS, the GS, the GS is rushing to do Johnny, this. Baby. Johnny, Johnny is. I'm not sure about that. You see, no, I, I, I think that, so. Let's find out mm. what are possibly the donor fundings attached to this implementation. Right. Because you see, like they said, the, he who calls uh, uh, pays the piper calls mm. the tune. Absolutely, mm. if the people encouraging GES to implement this mm. have a certain ulterior motive. You need to first understand it. I so that at the end of the day, we do not miseducate our kids. Mm. Because you see, in their formative age, anything they observe becomes part forever. and mm. parcel of them. So the conversation, I mean, if you teaching a young child mm. how to use condom, how to do the mm. Mm. exposing the child to certain intricate matters. I do not think at this time they have the mind, right. a developed mind, to appreciate the dynamics of that conversation. Okay. And so I would wish that this policy is immediately withdrawn. Uh oh Yes. Where from this It one? should be immediately withdrawn. <laughs> yes. Where, where from this I am making to? a passionate appeal to the GES to okay. immediately withdraw Whatever and, it is. and do what is and let's have a conversation, a broader national conversation, broader consultation before the churches. What, you, you see, you what see, are we what, doing? Do you know that as we speak, mm. what is the attitude of GES towards religious and moral education? They are basically taking it off the curriculum. Mm. Why would you want to take religious and moral education out and introduce a conversation about sexuality at this point? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And so I am appealing to the government mm. to immediately withdraw this curriculum. Mm. Let's have a broader national conversation about it, the pros and cons. If the general consensus okay. that it should be implemented, mm. then we can proceed. At this time, should it, it be is withdrawn? Time. I, don't, I, I don't think so. I think, you see, GS mm. needs to come out. Okay. 
and speak to the issue. But their silence is too yes. loud. They need to come out and speak to the issue and explain really what what the focus is. Mm. They need they need to they need to come out. Before you call Listen to them first. Uh, it's too, it's too well, well, he, he's, he's making a key point. I mean, he's asking that, look, if there's donor funding to it, what are the donors so asking? Yeah, so let's find out. Yes, you if, know, are, if, there, if there's that. some donor funding to it, what, what is it? And, and I, I we, did, we need to find out. I, I dig that round that, look, there was no PTA consultation Nothing. with it. And I'm asking, what is this curriculum trying to solve? Is there a problem so grave that we need such magnitude of information? to solve it. But Hughes, in any case, okay. if the Let, thing is not broken, do you fix it? Let's go to Crystal. Okay. <laughs> what is it, Sean? What's up? <laughs> All right, first, um, good morning, TV3. The introduction of comprehensive sexuality education by the Ghana Education Service should first be discussed by all stakeholders in order to find out whether Ghanaians need this type of education now. And if so, who should be taught and to what extent must children be introduced to this type of education? Let us not import and accept systems that may not fit our present purpose. From Isaac Ku. In Tamale. Naturally, God in his wisdom made our bodies to develop and transform our genitals in readiness towards sexual activity. And we as rational human beings first should first consider the age and average as to when the transformation begins and reason with it ethically. Uh, Africa, wake up or oh, somebody pray for Africa. Um, good morning to the staff of TV3 and the people of Ghana. GES is always confused in implementing policies. They tell us to consult parents on issues which has to do with students' personal life but they will not obey that policy. To me, the inclusion of CSE in the basic school is not a problem, but the morality of Ghanaians should be recognized. GES is mistaken. They are emulating the policies of the developed countries, and that is harming us. Even when a teacher is treating reproductive system in social studies and science, these students are always t um, keen and become uncontrollable. Now, this is coming. That will be interesting, though, from Vincent Nasagri in Tamale. Um, hello, TV3 Ghana. I think the issue of introducing a new course such as this CSE will bring a disaster. Our leaders must think again. It would never help our children. Parents are crying from Shariza in Tamale. I think, it's, um, this, I think this is a good idea because these children at age four are learning these things from friends on social media in a wrong direction. I saw the two boys, they were five years and the sex position they were practicing Hmm, That's, let's not assume they are too young. Evans from Takradi, <laughs> that's very alarming. Uh, good morning, TV3. This CSE cannot help us. The clearing agent should come again. 2020, we go show Nana from Kaka in Tamale. Wow. Crystal, thank you very much. Mm. They, they, let's wrap up this one on uh, parenting. Have we left parenting, relegated it to the background so much so that now it has to take government to come and help us with a bigger part of the parenting. Is it, I mean, is it, is it really the, the, the role of we government taking over the role of parenting? I, I, I don't think so. It's not what it is. Because if we are identifying the problem as, you, as being agree? parents, parents shying away from talking to their children about sex, sexual do, do, issues. Do you agree with me? There are parents who, in a whole week, mm. will see their kids in a whole week, mm. just over the weekend. And even that's just on Sunday. Right. Their kids will get up in the morning, go to school, They'll be dropped off by a driver, picked up, picked up by a driver. To, they don't even have time because both parents are working parents. Mm -hmm. We have situations like this. But uh, let me come to the call by Edoji mm -hmm. for it to be withdrawn in natural. You see, my problem is this country, we don't seem to have a proper national dialogue mm -hmm. on exactly. any issue. Because we uh, no, 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 no. Please, please, please. Right. Don't lead me. Right. Don't lead me it, into it. It was yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but, but but you raise a very important. No, I'm saying we don't. We, 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 don't, we don't honestly, as a country, have a proper national dialogue on any issue. And that's because our town halls in all the communities are either absent or have been turned into something no, else. Yes, and and more so, the politics within the system doesn't allow us to have any national dialogue. Now, who calls up? Ourselves. Any issue, any and every issue, we want to play politics with it. Even the serious issues of all, we, want, we think it's a political tool, we must, we must play politics with it. So, I don't you call him for the withdrawal, and then, it's a good idea, yeah, yeah okay, let's, let's have a national, really? Will we have a real national dialogue? Yes, no. we can. Before, before the close of today. Can, can we not? Before the close to. of today. Politics will play into this. It will become an MPP. NDC issue. And before you realize, the essence of the policy itself 
or the program itself is lost. But that, that's why I'll be disappointed in the GS because GS is supposed to maintain a certain focus. No, don't be disappointed in the GS. Why should it die? It is, it is, I don't hear myself swaying public, public opinion on, on, on the program. But, but if GS says, look, I am maintaining my focus. I have listened to advice. I'm going to the parent teacher association yes. to GS, have a consultation GS with them. Will not, what, GS will not change this policy based on the discussions myself and Eduji will sit here on and do right. or, or based on the political lines mm. gs will proceed to do what what he has to do right. but the sway of public opinion mm. the policy can be very good but just because ndc feels like the free education policy such a wonderful policy mm. one the, one of the greatest policies that will be ever in, in, implemented anywhere on, on the continent mm. because of politics ndc says it's a bad policy this one says before you realize you're swaying public opinion and you're not allowing the, the general public to bring up their own uh, the side of the story, what they want to see. Okay. See, then you that's the news. Let, let, if, let, if, we have if, a final if, issue yes. to, to if, deal with. If my brother, for instance, here, okay, mm. or GES, had even indicated for, Ted for a minute mm. that prior to this introduction, okay. we had a conversation with the PTA, mm. the National Association of PTAs. Mm. This is the minute of that conversation or mm. that meeting. Mm -hmm. They overwhelmingly endorsed it. Mm -hmm. Then the conversation moved a little bit from the political arena to a conversation to what parents themselves had agreed on. Mm -hmm. In this case, the GES, as you rightly pointed out, had been very quiet about this conversation. Mm -hmm. Beyond mm -hmm. that, you would notice that as we even speak, the only thing we have is a book in the system. Mm -hmm. And the book is supposed to do the talking for the implementation of the policy. So if you pick the book and you look at the content, you notice that immediately it is not appropriate. But, but, but well, you... there's, there's one teacher who sent a text who says that, look, uh, GES is always breathing down their necks to have uh, stakeholder engagement with parents. But GES itself doesn't respect no, that. No, they don't. But, 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 look, but, but, but you and, and you I would be really surprised mm. if, if really mm. this whole process, there was, there was zero. Mm. I'll, I'll be greatly surprised. I, 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 have asked, I have asked some, some PTA chairman and they've said, look, we are not aware. No, but, but, look, but, 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 this but, but, just no, hit no, us. You no, can no, no, speak to the yes, national yes, president. Yes, 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 That's yes. what I'm saying. So, so speak to the national president mm. of the PTA association and find out really whether there was some, may, some may, interaction. Maybe the conversation was with the national executive, yes. but they didn't want to do it. I mean, we don't know. So, so but we'll dig into it. That's what I'm saying. I'll be surprised that there was zero. There was zero. teachers who are supposed to be the implementers of these We're not new, consulted. You'll be shocked, the level of consultation. Mm -hmm. Because you see, mm -hmm. you are going to ask a teacher in my village somewhere to be the one to teach these kids this. Mm. That teacher himself, has he been part of this conversation? I, I, no. I, I thought they had a training. They had training, a training. No. Training. They had a training. No, 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 no. no, 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 no there was a training Abu, for the introduction Abu, of, of this, of this new curriculum. Mm -hmm. The trainers of trainers. Okay. Yes, for the new no, curriculum. No, no, no. But no, they certainly, are, <laughs> can they can they train twenty thousand teachers know at that a time? As we speak, yeah. this new curriculum. Mm -hmm. If you have conversation with a the teacher, they will tell you that look, we have been told that this is the new curriculum, but the teaching materials. Okay. I'm just saying, yeah, even for right. rate, we don't have it. Well, but we are supposed we have been to start. Well, well, the, 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 you know, you know, you say. <laughs> but, 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 no, but, 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 children and you don't have the full component no. of a textbook he says no. the training materials that we're giving to them are, are enough the, to sustain them imagine from, and from then, basis for for the takeoff and then when i pushed he mm. says government is not a spiritual enterprise. i had him that day here so <laughs> I, i'm i'm because you see if you're a teacher i put the teacher in a fix here i go to the classroom i have the children who are expectant and i have nothing to teach you with but, because but, the teachers have told me contrary to what the MPP or government has said, the teachers have told me that they, uh, there is no way they can teach with that training material because it is, it is just... But, but I listen, I think I listen it's to... It's not detailed. I listen, I listen to, was it GS or the Ministry of Education itself? But GS, where, and, where, G, where, GS and the Ministry of Education, they will speak for themselves. No, no. Where, where, where during, during this time, when the curriculum is supposed to take off, there, there, I think is it a month, after a month, there's supposed to be another... Another training right. training program mm. to build the capacity of the teachers. It is it is there's there's a detailed program mm. 
Th that has been outlined see, for, for, for see, that. Hughes, and, and, and Hughes, we need to move on. No, Hughes, 30 seconds. We're, we're talking you all the time. You that even on this platform, and we sometimes, I believe, that we need to be candid. For instance, you said we've never had a national conversation or dialogue on critical issues. I strongly believe that in the case of free SHS, for mm -hmm. instance, there's a certain agreement among all the political parties mm -hmm. that the implementation free SHS is a laudable initiative. Mm -hmm. What has always been the issue has been the mode of implementation. No, no, no. Has that's always no, been that's the mode been. of implementation. Energy. You Energy. said, you your said, candidate, your candidate oh, of Hamas said, let's move on. Let's, 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 let's make progress. Let's make progress. You said that. A review, unless, of course, you are limited. No, what's the meaning of a review? Review means let's make progress. What's the meaning of a review? Were you the one who wrote the Okay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's ridiculous. The, the Times, uh, page 16, <laughs> says, well, I'll be endorsed at 2020 polls, President predicts. Now, President Kufuado has expressed confidence that Ghanaians will give him an overwhelming endorsement when the nation goes to polls next year. The president believes that voters will demonstrate their appreciation of the steady progress so far in all sectors of the economy. And there's a quote from the president. I am aware that the naysayers are trumpeting in a loud voice, in as loud voices as they can muster, their denial of what is happening in front of their very eyes. But I know the Ghanaian people in their majority are serious uh, and conscious and steady uh, of the steady progress that is being made despite the difficult circumstances which attended our assumption of office. And next year, they will have the opportunity uh, so to pronounce, he says. That's the president. He is confident that uh, he will get the, the nod in 2020. Abu, what, what would give the president so much vim and vigor to make such a pronouncement at this time when people are complaining that, look, our pockets are dry, uh, uh, fuel prices are high, uh, in spite of the reduction of the benchmark um, at the ports, uh, it's not in, in helping imports because our monies are locked up in the banks, so many others. What would give the president so much confidence to make such a statement? Yes, this is, um, happily, first time I'm hearing the president publicly talking about really the 2020 polls mm. and his belief for, 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 for a second term. Mm. I, 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 I would say, I would say, Hughes, I would be surprised. Okay. I would be surprised. Yeah. If the president doesn't, doesn't, his votes don't appreciate and he doesn't do better than. From the five million? Yes. You'd be surprised? I'd be surprised. Why would you? The most, in the history of this country, fourth Republican for the last 20, 25 or 27 years, mm. we've never had a president or a government that in the first two and a half, let's say three years, mm -hmm. implement and start policies and programs the way this government has. And use, cast your mind back mm -hmm. from the first Rollins era, democratic era in 1992, his first four years. What, 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 what were the major achievements of that government? Take uh, 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 President Kufo's era. The first four years, really, a broken down economy, it took the government almost three and a half years to fix the country back. Mm -hmm. To start, and if you remember, major, major, major of the policies took off in the second term. The Atamil's era, first two, two and a half years. Mm -hmm. Zero. Zero? Oh, no. He's sitting here. He should, he should pinpoint to me. Ten. He shouldn't explain the, the policies. Mm -hmm. Ten. I'm saying you should mention ten. Ten policies they implemented within their first two and a half years. Okay. Ten. Now, you come to the Kufado era, in the first two and a half years, free education implemented in the first year. Mm -hmm. you, and, and, and when I start mentioning, there, there are so much you can't even, you, you can't even keep track of. Mention, free education. Five. No, no, free education has been done. Now you have uh, the, the reduction in, uh, what's it called, at the port. But the, the importers say our money is stuck at the bank, so we can't import. But, but it has significantly, <laughs> imports have improved. No, 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 is not benefiting from it. The, the, the importers, I'm, I'm submitting to you that the importers are saying, look, our <laughs> monies are stuck with the banks 
<laughs> and we are not getting it. The banks are choosing to pay us some of the money because not because of, of the uh, cleanup. Well, but if I because of if the I, if I'm running a business and I need my money to turn around, it's not for you to decide that I'll give you. Uh, Ten thousand out of your hundred thousand. That is 000. that is that is because of, to because, of because of the banking crisis. Mm. That's because it has nothing to do with the policy that was implemented. No, if I am an importer, yes, I'm, I'm saying, Abu, yes, Abu, yes, I'm saying, Abu, has that, that that has nothing Abu, to Abu, do with the implementation of Abu, the policy? Abu, the policy has mm. been implemented. Yes. Now, me who is supposed to benefit, mm. and I'm putting you put mm. yourself in that shoe. Mm. You import say banku into this country, mm. and you have a capital of hundred thousand. It is locked up in a bank. The next time you want to go and pull and go and uh, import your containers, government says, I can only give you 10,000 of your money. Now, the guy on the other side who's supplying you needs 70,000 of your money. Where do you get the 60,000 to add on to? The bank is not affording you a loan. Your own money is stuck there. How do you import? So, and so you have a policy yes. that has been implemented. Good. But I am, I am not feeling the policy as an importer. And I'm saying... Is it as a result of the implementation of the policy? But if you implement a policy and I don't I'm benefit no, from no, it, no, no, I'm saying, what is, is it, the is it as policy? a result of the implementation of the policy? But I'm saying, it but so if you implement a policy yes. and I don't, I'm supposed to benefit. Yes. I don't let benefit me let me mention it. other 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 achievements of but this government. This one has a problem. You don't. Let me let me let me let me mention other wonderful okay. achievements. Okay. And I'm sure I don't you himself will, will insert some of the achievements into this. The, the railway sector, massive, mm. massive, massive reform in the railway sector, construction of new railway lines in, in the western region, construction of a railway school, a, 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 a workshop. Mm -hmm. And you see, all the policies, most of them, are not, as, uh, as you know, like the free education, are not to benefit us directly today. Mm -hmm. The people who benefit today directly are the parents right. who save money into their pocket. Mm -hmm. Instead of paying the fees, save money into their pocket. But in the long term, give the country 5, 10, 15 years from now, the real b b people who benefit from this education, which the future of this country, the children of this country, 10 to 15 years from, from now, will come back and tell you one of the best policies government could have ever implemented, like the health insurance. Is there a, a number of scandals that have come up, including the Aisha one mistake, not enough to, to hold the president from making such a statement out there? The, pre the president admits, yes, it was wrong for her to, to have been deported. Yes, the that's that's how truthful and honest the president is. He says he was Ghanaians wrong. And Ghanaians will forgive. And, oh, you see, you see, what has what has her absence, or what would have her presence, changed really? We've managed to stop her from operating Ghana. Finish. But other Ghanaians, other Ghanaians who were caught in that same thing are languishing in jail. You see, you see, you see. Do we love the foreigners you better see, than so, our people? So, 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 so in in one's life, in one's life, one is not is not permitted. When in, in, to take a decision that was taken on, on reflection to say I took a wrong decision. When the senior minister says, look, prosecuting her will add nothing. Please. That's the senior minister Please. who advises the president. And, and he and, said that in and, jest. And the president says, on hindsight, he thinks it was a wrong decision. The consequences are coming? What, what are the consequences on the, this one? There are no consequences. What are the consequences on this one? There are no consequences. Because now... We've improved, we're improving, we're improving the, the Galamse fight. Mm -hmm. we, we've managed to move. And she, don't forget, she was one of the, the kingpins in terms of the Galamse trade in Ghana. Now we've taken her out. Now we have formalized that sector. Galamse workers, now those who used to be called Galamse workers, have, have been given formal training. They've been issued cards that show that, yes, you've gone through the training, you've been recognized by government, and you, you, we, we know that your area is now properly regulated. Okay. You understand? So, so the consequence is that, yes, we have, we have rather turned on to formalizing the sector, making, it, making the, the, the workers more responsible so that they, don't, they stop destroying our water bodies. Okay. So, Hughes, yes, uh, on the, on the president makes a no, bold statement. And, and let me just read a tweet from Dr. Mohamed Baumia on the fifth day of December 2016. Okay. Let me see whether it's not one of no, no, two no, days. No, your no, doctor, please. no, please. I will not. You are, you are are no, that's a tweet. The manufacturer they are, they are good at that. And so, this is why he says <laughs> Ghana deserves better. Okay. Not dubious award of contract to family and friends. Okay. Hashtag arise for change. Okay. Now, this is our vice This president. was two days to the election. Two days to the election. Okay. This convinced close can to... You, can, you, can you read it again? Oh. I didn't hear. 
close. No, 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 please. He was, uh, he okay. said, he you said read it again. So, he said, sure. Ghana deserves better. Yeah. No dubious award of contract to family and friends. Mm. Hashtag arise for change. Okay. Okay. That's what the vice president said. That's what he said. Then running. Then, run then candidate. Run yes. Yeah. Two days to the election. Today, the fifty-three percent that voted for Nanado Dangweku mm. for Ado, with the benefit of their three years, has the president committed to this? Mm. As we speak, why, why, hold why do you as think we he speak, hasn't? you have talked about how a prized national asset like ECG mm. was given out for nothing to financiers of the MPP. It, it has been investigated. Oh, are you what? That? Please, Hughes. Uh, Hughes. Look, uh, Hughes. Uh, lawyer. You, oh, oh, please, oh, would oh, you oh, listen oh, to me? It, would it, you listen? It, I, at least I gave you the benefit. I'm me. shocked you are bringing this up. You'll be shocked mm. how family and friends of the president got the Kenny GBG transfer. Do you know that the three companies that put in the bid for the Kenny GBG, mm. okay, all the directors of these three companies operate from one law firm. And so the entire procurement process was rigged. So you know what they did? They all put in the bid just to make sure that one out of them will win the bid. It comes, Go it and comes to out. us at all costs. And so it gets back to us. So the 53% who voted for Nanado, would they believe that he's incorruptible? Yes. With the evidence today, yes. you think, you say the president has no respect for the 53%. Please, 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 please. I think you're being too harsh. No, no, no. Listen, listen. You see, fundamentally. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Fundamentally. Let's him at least have a stake. Then you can have a rebuttal. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, should vote for him. Mm -hmm. He is going to abolish family and friends from his government. Is the first lady awarding contracts? I never knew of any first lady having a procurement entity. So when he said that, the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But the president said it. Yes. He so considers to say mm -hmm. that Ghanaian, fifty-three percent. I need your vote because I will not do family and friends. Mm, today, today as we speak, mm. it is not only family and friends, baby mamas and what have you? Please. Baby mamas of who? Baby mamas, what, what is Look, this? look, look, you, you, I am saying you, that. The fundamental question I have is, maybe you answer. Oh, please. Would I you, said, give you, me, you, give you me want, some material. Ten, you, you want 10. Uh, no. You, I said, you should give me just 10. Okay. In the 80s, right? You, you see? Thank you. We got to go. Yes, yes. Most yes. important. Mm. The reason why I asked him to, you know, to read, read know, the message know, again. Do you know, do you know no. something? Do you know something? As if the vice president, as if the vice president knew. No, no, it doesn't listen. Look, when you have a situation, where you have 22 million Ghana city worth of premise for poor fisher folks, and this premise is diverted, Nanado Dankwe Kufado had been presented with a report the minister in charge of fisheries, MP for Crowell, whose brother is the chairman of the National Premier's Committee, mm. is aware of the 22 million Ghana city worth diversion Diverting. of premiers. Mm. And the president is silent. You say the 53 million people yes. will do a yes. conveyor yes. belt yes. and yes. The president says it will be endorsed. Thank you. Do you know what you are talking about? I'm happy. I'm happy. Do you know what you are talking about? Let us not insult. No, no. Let no, it's very important. Eduji is, Eduji is presenting a, 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 no, a, a disaster situation as not No, no, no. No, no, no. You no, see, no, you no, see. No, He's here to manage the disaster. Let me tell you. I'm happy with that. You know he knows what I want to say. Thank you. Abu Ramadan speaks on behalf of the NPP. And lawyer Dujita Maklo is also a member of the NDC. Thank you, gentlemen. Abu, I said he's presenting a disaster to you from Nadbo's perspective. To give you legitimacy, you don't know. Anyway.